there are some misconceptions about energy work. And there are some out there that are very, very woo-woo. But it's, your method's very simple. It seems very logical. I, I've enjoyed learning it and using it because it's so simple. Can you dispel some of the common myths? You have your YouTube channel, which does some of this, right? But maybe just a little nutshell here. Google or go to YouTube or whatever and put in energy healing. You'll see what all those other other things are. And I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying anything derogatory about that, but that's not what I do. That's not what we do. So most of the time when people hear that I do energy healing, they'll say, oh, you mean like Reiki? And then their next question is usually something like, do you do hands-on? Do you do crystals? Questions that a lot of energy healing has in it. And I always end up saying, actually, it's I'm a no drama mama. It's more like coaching. It's very conversational. I ask questions or you tell me what's going on. A trained practitioner can muscle test to see where the energy's going. You can feel where there's a energetic block. We all have those gifts. We all have those skills. I think some of the misconceptions are people are afraid of what they don't understand. Well, let's have a conversation and see where the energy's stuck. And that's why your body can't heal this because there's some lower vibrations that are stuck in that hip joint and maybe they need to be released and cleaned out.